Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're anything like me, you will have been playing a lot with ChatGPT and maybe some of the other generative AI tools over the past couple of months. Today I wanted to share with you a number of other different AI tools that I've come across. So we've got a bit of a mix in here. So we've got some which are visual, some that are video, some that are audio. And if you wait around till the end, we've got one which is really just a catalog of a whole lot of cool AI stuff. So the first one I want to show you is cleanup.pictures. The idea with this is that you can take an image and as we can see here in their little diagram that they've got going, you can take pieces out of your image. Something you could already kind of do in Photoshop, but they are trying to make it easier. They have some examples here, and if we click into one of them, super simple, there's a brush, we can control how big the brush is, and there's a component, so let's suppose we want to take these little yellow tabs away, delete it, does some thinking, and it took them away. And you can see that it carried on the pattern of the shoe, so it didn't just leave a, leave a big gaping hole here, it actually took things away. It gets a little bit messier with some. I've tried a couple of the images and some it does a better job than others. Uh, but overall, we'll take this yellow bit off. It took a chunk out of the shoe, but it did keep a nice consistent clean background from where we took it out. So not too bad at all. Maybe we'll try another one of these labels and do some thinking. Took the label off pretty cleanly. So I would imagine if you are working with images, there's probably some times where you've got things you would just like to be able to take out nice and easily. And clean up pictures seems to be a pretty good one for that. Jumping into our second one. So this one creates vector images. So these little things that people will often use for logos, sometimes they'll use them for things like icons on their websites and stuff like that. And all we need to do is put in a piece of text here explaining what we would like, hit generate, and it will draw us up an image. So let's have a go of one. So for some reason I was thinking about the old internet meme video, monkey riding a pig. Uh, let's see how it goes. So what kind of style do we want? I quite like this Japanese style here. How many color layers? We'll take three, let's generate. Uh, we do need to log in for this one, so we'll do a quick login. And it took a little while to generate, but we have three different images here. They certainly all look like monkeys kind of riding baboons rather than pigs. So it wasn't quite there. Right kind of thing, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll have one more crack at it with a different instruction, maybe a different style as well. So let's have a go of cat at a computer. Uh, we will try, maybe we'll try pop art, this one down in the corner. I think we'll... Three, three colors, and it gives us cat. I guess this is kind of cat on a computer rather than at a computer, but I think that's a pretty reasonable effort. It looks like it could be could be a bit of fun. They, I was expecting something that was maybe a little bit more logo oriented, but perhaps that just needs some different styles and maybe some not quite as unusual instructions there for the prompt. But anyway, that was Illustroke. That was our second one. Let's jump into our next one. So our next one uh, creates stock images. So this could be pretty handy for you. Um, we are going to just try for free. Let's see if we can generate uh, some stock images. Gave us a login prompt. We logged in. We can then choose our categories. So we've got book cover, wallpaper, uh, we're just going to go stock image and I thought I would test it a little bit. Generally the, a lot of these image generators they struggle where they are trying to produce a person. Kind of interesting we can choose a real photo here. I'm going to start by not selecting this and then maybe we'll see what happens later. So this is pretty generic. Man in a suit on a bicycle. Let's generate and see what it gives us. Okay well it gave us a man in a suit, there is no bicycle in sight. There's a giant handbag instead. That's a little bit weird. Not sure whether choosing real photo is going to make a difference. So we choose real photo. Okay, so clicking on that and then it started prompting me for credits. So it looks very much like your freebie. You just get a single shot at it. Do keep that in mind. Uh, we wasted hours on this clown in a suit. 
But if we just jump through each of the categories, it does give us examples. And in fact, we can cycle through different examples here. So with each one, you can have a bit of a play with it. I'm always a little suspicious of the templated ones. So we can see if I try and generate. So I guess if you do log in, use your one test one sparingly. Uh, anyway, let's move on to our next one. Our next one, Clean Voice AI. We are not going to do a demo of this. We'll just kind of scroll down, show you what it is. This is pretty good. I actually wish that it would apply for video. I could export the audio from my videos, but the matching can become a little bit challenging there. Uh, but basically what it's doing, it's removing kind of the filler sounds, the ums and ahs and stuff like that, and mouth noises. And that is really handy. If you are producing a podcast or really any audio, there is going to be some of this. It just will speed up the editing process by a whole lot. And it also has this timeline export. This is potentially handy if you are doing video editing because it will highlight where the things are. So not quite as fast as doing it for you, but it means that you still have your timestamps, which if you need to link it up, the video is going to be important. So pretty cool. They say clean 30 minutes of audio for free. That would be something I would jump on. If you have any audio, you can test it out pretty nicely with 30 minutes worth of audio and see whether it is a useful one for you. Next up, sticking with audio, and we have sound raw or sound raw. And so this is a AI music generator. It's gonna create us some royalty free music. So let's jump in. We're going to hit create music and see what we can generate. Okay, so we can choose the length of the song. We can choose the tempo. We can select all three. That means that the song could contain any of those or all of those. Uh, select the mood. Really want to know about dark and I want to know about angry. Uh, originally, I was going to do something that was uh, going to be epic or uplifting. No, we'll go with angry. So it's given us a page of different tracks here. So quite a few. We can see there's a mix of different genres. Uh, all of them kind of have dark, angry somewhere in there. It's got the BPM, the length, but we can download it. We can also filter. So choosing different instruments, themes, genres. Maybe we want so some angry rock. It says that it's creating. And so we can hit play. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so it sounds a little bit like some of my old Sega Mega Drive games. Don't know if that's a pro or a con. We can actually chop pieces out of it. So there is actually some editing features here. Let's have a bit of a listen to one more. Yeah, it's uh, not really going to be taking the place of your favorite musician just yet. So that was sound draw. You were less likely to be using angry than maybe some of the other different genres there. Maybe you're looking for backing music for making videos or things like that. I think it's one that certainly think is going to be fun to have some a bit of a play with, particularly if you are perhaps musically oriented but not quite at the stage that you can make your own music. I think it's a nice little stepping stone there. Okay, so our next one is Synthesia. And for this one, it lets us provide some text and then it creates a short video. So we can select a different template. And then from our template, we can put in piece of text. I'm just going to stick with theirs and then we continue. Okay, we are going to need to put some details in here. I'm going to do that. They actually send the video a link to your email and then via the email you've got to come back. They uh, take you to a share page and we can see our video here. Probably could have tested it a bit harder by using our own text rather than just what was there. Hey Anna, welcome to the course. I look forward to activating your prior knowledge and preparing you for your learning journey. 
be sure to bring the following course materials to your first session. That was uh, pretty robotic. Having worked in universities for a long time, I've certainly seen worse, but I don't think it's going to be taking the place of anyone particularly dynamic just yet. So again, a couple of these tools have been pretty good, a couple of them kind of not quite there yet, but you can certainly see them as rough drafts of something that could be pretty cool in the future. Okay, our last one we're looking at is... There's an AI for that. And so this is just basically a page where someone is compiling different AI tools. And so as we go down, audio transcription, text-to-speech, email writing, grammar checking, uh, writing, I mean, we can see three in January just under writing, Slack integration of GPT chat, chatting with Einstein, making slides, Pixel image generation, fitness, AI workout of the day. Could be interesting. Can be one we look at another time. Data annotation, online dating chat suggestions. Not sure I would trust an AI with that, but anyway. Anime image generation. So all sorts of different things. And um, I'm really, this is probably the one that is uh, going to be of most use. Thinking about your own use cases, coming here jumping through seeing what you can find so that's it for today hopefully you found this useful and interesting please like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and i will see you back for more stats research and random stuff